Hello everybody. How are you guys today? I'm well and I hope you are well too. I thought today is Saturday, April 4 of the year 2020. And I was thinking that Easter is just around the corner and maybe we could do an Easter art project. And the art project is this. See? We have all these eggs and we can decorate them. I decorated them like this, but you can decorate them differently, however you think you would like to decorate them, okay? So I thought, first of all, I'll show you for this project, I have scissors and I have cardboard because they're all done on cardboard because it's good to recycle. And I'm going to show you, I cut this egg out, this egg out so that we can, in this case, I think I have 11, but you can do as many as you want. You can do three, four, or more. See, there's my egg. And we can decorate them. First of all, I can, we have paint and well, we can paint them. Like this one, well, we paint it, we can paint it. See, we have paint and we get the colors that we want. And this particular one is green, but you can paint them all different colors. Green and blue and yellow. Okay. Well, I got dirty, see? So I've now got a little piece of towel to dry my, clean my fingers off. Sometimes some of these, like for instance, this one, and this one, these two, are covered in material. So I'll show you here. We have glue, you can use white glue or you can use this transparent glue. And you put glue on the um, cardboard You can with your finger. You can spread the glue around. You can place a piece of material on top of the the egg and then when it dries you can cut it out and you'll see you have an egg like this. Now this particular one I didn't decorate because it was the material and it looked nice like that but you could put things on there you could put buttons. None of these have buttons but I just thought I could have put buttons on some of them. So let me cover my paint up because I don't want it to spill. If you will notice children I am using a board a board that's full of paint that I use for all my projects. I've got newspaper and I have an apron so that I don't dirty. But in any case, it is a good idea to wear clothes that are not your new or best clothes, old clothes. So if some paint gets on them or some glue gets on them, it's okay. Now, um, I wanted to show you the different things you could put on these. I have colored paper to um, make flowers or zigzags like this one, see? I made a zigzag. And this egg, if you will notice, it is decorated with paper zigzags. Now, I also have ribbons. And this egg is decorated with little pieces of ribbon. See, little pieces of ribbon. Now this egg, I used sequins. I painted it green and I glued sequins onto it. And you can glue it anyway. I mean, this one I made in little lines, but it's not something that you, you can put individually, one, two, three, spotted here and there, but. Now this young egg, I made him look like a pirate. So I got a piece of material and then I made a little knot. I put eyes and a mouth on him and he looks like a pirate. On this one, on this, a gray egg, I put lace. I glued some lace on it to decorate it. On this egg, I made paper wings for it to look like a butterfly. On this egg, I made a little paper feather and put a little piece of strip around here and they made him look like an Indian. 
And this egg, I, with pieces of paper, I cut little ears out and whiskers, and I put the eyes and the nose on him as well. Now, when it's all, oh, and I wanted to show you something else. See these little polka dots? I wanted to show you an easy way of making polka dots, see? I just want to show you with the same green paint. Look how easy it is to make polka dots. Look at this. I have a pencil, a new pencil. And this new pencil, the eraser is new, so it's nice and uh, flat. Then I'll get a little bit of paint. I put a paint on the on the um, on the eraser part of the pencil, and then I make a polka dot. See? See how easy that is? And I can cover the like. Oh, I can get this other side of this egg if you like, and you can see it here. And I can cover it with little polka dots, and they come out perfect. Each little polka dot comes out perfect. See? Just by using the eraser part of a new pencil. So, once you've finished and you've painted them and you've decorated them and you put whatever kind of decoration, whatever color you want, once that's done, then you can get, see this one, okay, this one is a blue with blue polka dots. This one is white and it's got flowers. I also made the flowers with the pencil. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you how you make the flower quickly so you can see. Um, you put one in the center, see, one in the center, and then you put the others around it, see? One, two, three, four, five, see? I made a flower with the same technique of using the pencil, or the eraser part of the pencil. Now this one here is covered in material. This one is painted and then I made paper zigzags. This one was painted and I put ribbon on it. I glued ribbon on it. This one was painted green and I put the sequins. This one was painted yellow and I made the bandana. This one is just covered in material. This one was painted with lace. This one has the wings. This one has the feather and the face and this has the ears and the whiskers. Now, this, see here, this is, you can use any kind of cord, you can use wool, this happens to be plastic, uh, um, synthetic, and then I have a long needle. Now, this part, you can use, ask your mom or your dad or your older brother to help you because this is pointed and it's dangerous, you could hurt yourself, right? So what's important here is for you to place the needle through the cardboard. See how it goes through? And that's as easy as that. But that is important that you don't do that by yourself because I don't want any of you to get hurt. So you have to ask an older person to help you do that. Well, I hope you liked today's project. Um, it's like an Easter project. You don't have to do it all in one day. You could do two today and two tomorrow. And then when it's all finished, you could hang it up in your bedroom. You could hang it up on the door. You could hang it up on the wall. You could hang it up on your bed. So it's as easy as that. So I hope you liked it. Enjoy yourselves. Remember to be safe, to be healthy, and always be happy. I love you. Have a good afternoon.